yeah. called Tom Payne's Bones. So. There's some singing, clapping, and doing this. If you want to do that, that's fine. <laughs> As I dreamed out one evening by a river of discontent. I bumped straight into old Tom Payne as running down the road he went. He said, I can't talk now, son. King George is after me. And he'll have a rope around my throat and hang me on the Liberty Tree. And I'll dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance in the oldest boots I own to the rhythm of Tom Payne's bones. Dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance in the oldest boots I own to the rhythm of Tom Payne's bones. I only talked about freedom and justice for everyone. But ever since the very first word I spoke, I've been looking down the barrel of a gun. They say I preach revolution. Let me say in my defense that all I did wherever I went was talk a lot of common sense. And I'll dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance in the oldest boots I own to the rhythm of Tom Payne's bones. Dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance in the oldest boots I own to the rhythm of Tom Payne's bones. Old Tom Payne, he ran so fast, he left me standing still. But there I was, a piece of paper in my hand, standing on the top of a hill. It said, this is the age of reason, these are the rights of man. No religion, no monarchy, it was all in Tom Payne's plan. And I'll dance to Tom Payne's bones, dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance in the oldest boots I own to the rhythm of Tom Payne's bones. Dance to Tom Payne's bones, dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance in the oldest boots I own to the rhythm of Tom Payne's bones. Old Tom Payne, where does he lie? No one laughs and no one cries. Where he's gone and how he fares, no one knows and no one cares. But I will dance to Tom Payne's bones, dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance in the oldest boots I own to the rhythm of Tom Payne's bones. Dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance in the oldest boots I own to the rhythm of Tom Payne's bones. Dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance to Tom Payne's bones. Dance in the oldest boots I own to the rhythm of Tom Payne's bones. Thank you. Thank you. Do we need to be Near the mics? Or was that all right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right, you choose the next one. Yeah. What is the next one again? Uh, Max and John. Oh, yeah, right. Which is in. Uh, so, this is a song. Uh, in F minor, yes. So, yeah. this is a song that's in F minor, which is people are singing along. Um, this is a song that came to us by a band called Imagine Village, an incredible folk musician of the long standing called Martin Harpy and his yeah. daughter, and also other people, Martin Simpson, incredible people. And if we had longer, we could talk longer about it. But, um, you could talk longer? It's alright, let's just sing a song. Um, what's it? <coughs> hey? Uh, F minor. F sharp minor. Uh, my son John. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Um, my son John was tall and slim, he had a leg for every limb. Now he's got no legs at all, he ran a race with a cannonball, with a cannonball, with a cannonball. He ran a race with a cannonball. Jack the lad, he went off to war, he waved bye-bye as he ran out the door. Said bye bye John, when I see you again, you'll be back from Iraq, from Afghanistan, from the Taliban, from the Taliban, you'll be back from Iraq, from Afghanistan. I sat down each day on the shore for the space of seven long years or more, till a big transport came across the sky and shouted aloud, clear the way, clear the way, clear the way. I shouted aloud, clear the way. I shouted aloud till the captain said, Are you here with the living? Are you back with the dead? Do you see anything of my son John? Is the poor boy living or is he gone? Is he gone? Is he gone? Is the poor boy living or is he gone? 
Up comes John and he's got no legs, got carbon fiber plates instead. She smiled, she kissed him over and all, said, I bet you run quicker than you did before, you did before, you did before. Said, I bet you run quicker than you did before. Were you deaf? Were you blind when you left your own two legs behind? Or did you go walking along the sea to shrink your two legs down to the knee? Down to the knee, down to the knee, to shrink your two legs down to the knee. No, I was not deaf, I was not blind when I left my own two legs behind. But a thundering landmine jumped in the way, wore these legs right down to the knee, down to the knee, down to the knee, wore these legs right down to the knee. I was tall, I was slim, I had a leg for every limb. Till the chicken hawks came up knocking at the door. Cruel Britannia called for war, called for war, called for war. Yes, Cruel Britannia called for war. Cruel Britannia called for war when all those chicken hawks stood at the door. So cluster bombs like new some corn, you better run a mile from the harvest home, from the harvest home, the harvest home. Said you better run a mile from the harvest home. My son John was tall and slim, he had a leg for every limb. Now he's got no legs at all, he ran a race with a cannonball, with a cannonball, with a cannonball. He ran a race with a cannonball. Thank you very much. <laughs> My son John, so that's a Napoleonic song which was um, with some modernised lyrics, if you notice, if you're listening carefully. And, uh, okay, so our last song. The old cluster bomb. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> those, seven, those Napoleonic cluster bombs. Uh, some of you will be able to see a picture up there. Some of you are. There's a, a picture of a ship there, and uh, we're going to dedicate our next song and the one to but, ships and, just and, like and that. And that Is that quite a steam coming out of it? I can't see from it. Uh, this is a song called Big Steamers, and it's about the ships that used to bring all the food and goods to this country uh, a couple of hundred years ago. And it's a bit of a cautionary tale. So it was written by Rudyard Kipling and um, probably when he was here living in Washington Deep. And it, it's, if you listen to the, to the, to the lyrics, it's a, it's a, it was written as a cautionary tale to teach the school children about the things that mattered at the time, which was just to try and get them to understand how much of uh, what they relied on came in on the, on the big ships. So it's written as a sort of call and response thing. The, the, there's, there are, the, there are, the, the verses start with children asking these questions, and when we all sing together, it's the big steamers sort of replying and telling them why they're, why they're so important. And this one is in F sharp. F sharp, everyone. F sharp, everybody. <laughs> um, big steamers. Oh, where are you going to? Oh, you big steamers. With England's own coal, up and down the salt sea. We're going to fetch you your bread and your butter. Your beef, pork and mutton, eggs, apples and cheese. And where will you fetch it from? Oh, you big steamers. And where shall I write you when you are away? We'll fetch it from Melbourne, Quebec and Vancouver. Address us at Hobart, Hong Kong and Bombay. And if anything happened to all you big steamers, suppose you were wrecked up and down the salt sea. Why, you'd have no coffee or bacon for breakfast And you'd have no muffins or toast for your tea So I'll pray for fine weather for all you big steamers With little blue billows and breezes so soft Oh, billows and breezes don't bother big steamers For we're iron below and still rigging along so I'll build a new lighthouse for all you big steamers With plenty wise pilots to pilot you through All oh, the channels as bright as a ballroom already And pilots are thicker than pilchards at loo 
So what can I do for you, oh, you big steamers? What can I do for your comfort and good? Send out your big warships to watch your big waters That no one may stop us from bringing you food For the bread that you eat and the biscuits you nibble The sweets that you suck and the joints that you cut They're brought to you daily by all us big steamers And if anyone hinders our coming you will stop! Bonder Union. Facebook Bonder Union. Thanks, guys.